Hi there, this is Joe from Square XO and this is episode 24 and today we're joined by a big crowd. Today we welcome Nicole. Hello. <laughs> Nicole and Rebecca's here. Hey guys. And of course Dan's here too. Of course. Hello everybody. And me. I'm here. Yay. Although I'm half asleep, but I wouldn't start on that. <laughs> Please don't, dear God. <laughs> no, We're no. all in the same boat. We'll just Joe, never get round. We'll just never get round to talking about anything if I talk about how tired I am. Okay. <laughs> anyway, before we start, don't forget that you can follow us on twitter.com slash square underscore XO, on twitch.tv slash square XO, or youtube.com slash Johnson Water, and visit our website at squarexo.co.uk. Also, remember, you can listen to us on Podbean and on iTunes, and if you leave a nice review, Dan will be happy. <laughs> that was very professional and very surprising. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Have you not been on the room today, Joe? No, nah, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I did buy that one liter bottle from Amazon. Did you maybe. actually? Yeah. That's so cool. It was too good value. I thought, oh no, yeah. I have to get that. With your tiredness, I'm sure you feel drunk anyway, so... Yeah, exactly. Drunk on life. (laughs) Okay, right, let's let's get on with it then, because there's quite a lot to talk about. The first conference was EA. Everyone watch EA? Yep. In DDO. Good. No. (laughs) You were at a party, (laughs) weren't you? I was, yeah. Yeah. Did you not even catch up in it? I watched the Need for Speed. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil it. I watched the the, the trailer for a game that I wanted to to see. I, I wasn't. I don't about blame you, man. It was a terrible conference. It was absolutely it was so dreadful. It was one of these. I don't know what it is. They just seem to have these influencer. What do you call them? Content creators. They yeah. like to Cheap. call themselves basically. <laughs> yeah. But the thing yeah. is, they're all under the employee of VA. So whatever they say, you can't believe, really. You just need mm. to kind of go, yeah, okay, then, and kind of <laughs> ignore them. But they all honestly, sw- it was just what annoyed me most was the the constant um, support of streamers and YouTubers and YouTubers hosting certain segments because um, I I just it felt so awkward and it was that guy oh, that messed up, wasn't it? That guy, yeah, that and he said he said. Like, oh, yeah, here's Mark. Like, you know, he's the producer and that. And he's just like, oh, hi, Nick. And, and he's just like, he ro- he rolled with the N and he was like, oh, I've got, oh, I've got to follow this through now. I can't I'm, say, like, you know, Mark. I was just <laughs> watching it with my head in my hands. I was like, oh, I wish. Honestly, I would have really loved to have seen, you know, some developers or producers for the games that they were shown to actually introduce them rather than just getting internet personalities because they will bring an audience in from YouTube. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Dan, when they were showing off FIFA, they brought out these two guys in suits. Oh, it's Siri. Oh, yeah. God, oh. Siri, what is it, Siri? What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why Siri's trying to butt in. What did you think of the EA conference, Siri? It's your opinion that counts, Joe. There you go, then. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I love My that. opinion that counts. Anyway. Diplomatic. That's very... Two guys in blazers you were talking Yeah, two about, guys in blazers yeah. come out to show to show FIFA and I'm thinking oh, please bring back Peter Moore yeah. whatever <laughs> pool. I just wanted him to come back it was dreadful but anyway apart from that the games were alright they never showed much of FIFA uh, FIFA's a game I'm looking forward to but I mean they just go Journey 2 and yeah that's all very good so obviously there's all the usual suspects like Madden and FIFA and NBA was shown as well I think yeah. yeah, it was. It was uh, S- Star Wars was the one for me, I think. Yeah, me oh, yeah. too. Star Wars Battlefront 2, that looks brilliant. It, it looks brilliant. like such a step up. Like, I'm really impressed with how it looks. Like, I mean, just the content alone and, like, how they kind of seem to have gone back to the older kind of Battlefront days and kind of, like, you know, with the kind of class specialisations and stuff as opposed to just yeah. creating a class, like, in the really naff way they kind of introduced it in the, like, the 2015 one. Oh, I loved that game. I loved the first game. I didn't stop playing it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I ended up at level... I've got a bit of a controversial viewpoint about that then compared to you two. Because I admit, I think it looks great. Um, I like the idea that they've updated the DLC maps and modes. I like that there's a huge online multiplayer, but I wasn't too keen on 30 minutes of gameplay. And I don't know if that's because it's not my Can game. Can I have a flake in mine? 
See, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was on account of it was like the separatist story army, and you can hear an ice cream man right now. Like, I mean, oh my god. <laughs> I know, I really want an ice <laughs> cream now. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was, I just um, had one. 30 minutes of the separate destroyed army like going like you know that to me that was just really enjoyable do you know what and do you know yeah. what would be good if they got that ice cream van's tune and just played it in the background all the way through the EA press conference <laughs> yeah. it probably suited it quite well <laughs> <laughs> literally as the men in blazers walk out do 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 that'd be Don't, quality oh god <laughs> I didn't hate the 30 minutes, but I just think because uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 isn't really my sort of game, I was like, does it need to be 30 minutes long? You know, could it be 15 and they show, you know, a bit more footage from other games or they talk a bit more about what their other plans are doing? So yeah. I I think what I did is I watched the... Oh, it's went, somebody's went quiet. He's all still there. It's all went a bit quiet. Oh, no. It's went wrong. Hello. Quick. It's so brilliant. The wall just cut we off. We will what? turn oh, you you're to back. the yeah. Hey, you're back. You all just literally cut off for about a on? minute there. <laughs> sure, we finished. Um, what did they show? But they showed 30 minutes of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2, yeah. two. yeah. It was what, the multiplayer end. or single it, player? Yeah, yeah. It, was, uh, it was right at the like, end of the conference, basically. It was the closing bit, wasn't it? It's, you know what it is though, it's that, like that they needed 30 minutes because they really wanted to kind of, you know, show that they've answered all the kind of the fan kind of, because mm -hmm. obviously there was the outrage with the, with the prior one that um, there was no actual story mode, like no campaign kind of thing. Yeah. And I mean, I think it was just the whole thing was just them trying to justify that they've really made an effort with this one and that it's going to be different and that, you know, they're kind of going back to their roots with it. Yeah, I can see that. Like I say, out of the first game, I got to level fifty or something so far, maybe more than that. So I'm, I'm, I'm well up for the second one. The fact's got a campaign, I'm really pleased. But honestly, though, where are the droid deckers, mate? Like, where are they? Those little balls of fury, mate. Where are they? I was so annoyed that they weren't on the thing. Like, I'm hoping they're in there somewhere. But what's a separate droid army without them? There's probably, mm. there's probably plenty more to see. Anyway, Hopefully. we better move on because there's loads to talk about. Uh, one more thing for you that I comes to mind. See, I didn't write any of this down because I thought to myself, I'll just talk about stuff that I remember. Because uh, that's I the got stuff that's memorable. Are you about to introduce a way out? No, it's talking oh. about... Um, Ice cream's back. A, <laughs> way out <laughs> a way out with kind of interest in that. Was, yeah, I was, uh, I was intrigued by the split screen co-op. Um, yeah. That's the only way you can play it, but isn't I think, it. I thought that was quite interesting. I think yeah, bigger I think than that's really probably good. the new IP Anthem. Yeah. Which kind of looks oh. like Destiny meets Avatar. I think that I wrote one. more about that in the Yeah, Microsoft I did it more in the... Conference. Yeah, because that's where they really kind of got into it, like, as opposed to just showing the a trailer. Too. Yeah, it's but like, oh, that's not really my like, sort okay. of thing anyway, so I'm <laughs> quite happy to skirt over it. But it kind of looks all right, I guess. Yeah, I think it looks that sort good. Of thing. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's leave EA behind then and move on to Microsoft. Did you see any of this one, Dan? Yeah, I sat and watched it all whilst I was working. Good. Um, yeah. Good. My thoughts. I thought it was good, to be mm. honest. I know we're a PlayStation mm. podcast, but I thought there wasn't much originality, but what they were showing were good and they were trying to hammer home games, games, games. Yeah. Not necessarily. Yeah, yeah but they didn't inclusive. really succeed, did they? Well, they did in that they showed loads of games. That yeah, they didn't in that they're not exclusive. They didn't show any big games, though, really. There was quite a lot of small um, they did that um, ID at Xbox thing, didn't they, where they showed off, God knows, about 12, 13 games, just bam, 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 straight after each other. But there was quite a, I mean, I really struggled to keep up writing my notes on this conference. I had to keep yeah, pausing same. it. Yeah. <laughs> so I was I'm, like... I'm just not being funny, but they start it off, right, with, which is fair enough, they start it off with Forza 7, right, so big game, big that graphics, looked amazing. big performance, sort of thing, and then they showed... Metro, I think, was next. Yeah, it, that you, gave me chills. Don't even get me started on that. Yeah. That literally Again, gave me chills. Again, that looked so good. good. But then, so after they showed us intro and they show a few games, they go into the guy who's going on about the console and he's he's just blabbing on for far too long about teraflops <laughs> he or whatever he's Six blabbing on about. And it's just like 1.172 gigahertz, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he's going on about that. Someone wrote it down. I did. <laughs> so he's going on about that, like, right? Nah. 
And then <laughs> after that, it was all, it was all at smaller games. It was all mm. really there wasn't really that much. Assassin's Creed was maybe shown Crackdown where they barely ever they barely even showed any gameplay. But how any of them actually support the power of the console that they're trying to push? Most of them, yeah. are, most of them are going or Xbox One X enhanced, which basically means. Yeah. PS4 Pro style graphics if it's enhanced. It basically yeah. improves the performance. It's not true 4K like my, Forza 7 will be and stuff. So I mean, My biggest issue with it, with it was that they didn't really clarify on much, did they? They didn't. So that whole term of console launch exclusive was a bit woolly. I know I went on about it on Twitter a little bit, but like, what does that mean? Was, um, I mean to me why not was, say it's exclusive? I know they just go exclusive, okay, well, but then it says console, PS4, isn't it? console launch exclusive, which is basically timed exclusive. Who knows how long it's time for it? And then today there was a bit of news where Phil Spencer's going, oh, we don't believe in paying. We don't believe in paying for uh, exclusive content and stuff. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. well, is that not kind of a bit rubbish, considering you have? He's saying he's not a fan of marketing deals with co- console exclusive content. But he's quite happy to pay for time that's exclusive, so it's it's a lot of nonsense. Mm. They talk out their face, those people. Honestly, today he's going, oh, well, it's not PS4 Pro isn't really a competing with the Xbox One X. It's competing with the Xbox One S, whereas yeah. it isn't really because it, PS, PS4 Pro is a lot more powerful than what that is. They're both competing mm-hmm. with each other. Whether he likes it or not, the PS4 Pro is competing with the Xbox One X. It just is, because they're both yeah, enhancing games. PS4 Pro can get 4K games in some games. Not all of them, but the X will be able to, but it can get it in some. So you can't really say they're not competing with each other. I mean, mm-hmm. I, it made me laugh. Someone on Twitter just goes, oh, yeah, PlayStation's not competing with the Xbox anyway because obviously they've sold over sixty million yeah. consoles now. <laughs> and that... I think that's it. They're tr- they're keen to differentiate the offering between the X and the Pro, aren't they? They're they're trying to say that the X is this super fancy, um, high end machine, but it isn't. If it's only four fifty, <laughs> like get the Pro. Uh, if it's not competing with the Pro, then it needs to be more expensive, if that makes sense. It needs to be higher end again. Yeah, so. but the thing is, the thing that tells it all to me is that I looked at the Amazon bestsellers and the Amazon Movers and Shakers list today, and there was not one Xbox One game in the top 20 of either of them. Really? That, so Jeez. that kind of says it all. Because all does. the games that were in there were all the new games that have just been announced, and the majority of them were PlayStation stated. Uh, things like God of War and Shadow Courses, things like that. I mean, there was nothing. There was nothing for Xbox. It's going to happen, though, isn't it? Because of the, the oh, numbers yeah. of owners. So, you know, there's more PlayStation owners, so the yeah, games will be... Yeah, but there was be... Switch games in there. So oh, that was it? argument's okay. kind of new, isn't it? Because yep. Mario was number one, the Mario and Rabbids <laughs> game, and there was also another Switch game in there. I can't remember what one. But... Uh, mm-hmm. But it was no what Xbox. did you guys? Um, so. Sorry, what did you guys think of the actual games? Because my main problem with the Microsoft conference was that everything was a bit shooty shooty. Yeah, I like, thought the same. Everything yeah. until about the end. Like I mean, I really liked games that like Ashen and um, Ori and the Will of the Wisps because they were different. Like they stood apart. The rest of the conference for me was very. Here's a shooter. It's online. It's multiplayer. Um, you know, gameplay is just walking around shooting things. And then when I saw Ashen and when I saw Ori, I was like, these are the two that I am really interested in because they're so different. And I love indie games, as you all know. So uh, yeah, well, I was like, I, mean, I got my eyes on those two. That's why you buy an Xbox. So you buy an Xbox. Yeah, if it you is want a shooty, 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 shooty yeah. games. You buy a PlayStation <laughs> if you want to play games that are diverse. That's yeah, without a- being generalist as well i think the xbox is aimed at an american market oh yeah Um, yeah definitely whereas sony's more worldwide uh, so i think that's kind of reflected in the the software choices on them i mean don't get me wrong it wasn't a bad it certainly wasn't a bad conference i mean the xbox one x could have could have a market but they need games it's like if somebody's going oh it's just so powerful. It's just the most powerful thing ever. We've got all this power. Yeah, but it's not, 
they put a power if you don't have a sw- white switch, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like owning a Ferrari and only being able to drive in a 30 mile an hour zone. Basically. Exactly. I mean, or, in, or in a Microsoft's case, a Porsche. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah. 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 It was just like, oh, let's try and, you know, that's, that's the, you know, that's, you could tell that's how they was trying to get the edge. It's like, let's put a really fancy car on the stage. And, you yeah, know, everyone's going to like be like, oh my God, it's so pretty. This conference is like, mint. <laughs> it was no, the Porsche what? 911 GT, G. 2-2 RS that they unveiled. I did like that it was in the game, though. I thought that was very clever. Yeah, like, it's, yeah, it's, it's actually, actually it in the game. It's actually a nice yeah. cover art, actually. The box. Yeah, I thought that too, actually. So it's nice. No, but uh, no, it's a good conference. I'd say it was... It wasn't certainly worse than the EAs, that's for sure. The EAs was probably the worst of the lot, but... Uh, Mm. No, uh, I thought it was okay. Um, there's those games I'm looking forward to. Uh, Crackdown 3, I think that would be good. Although I'm a bit worried they never showed much gameplay for it. That's a bit concerning. They didn't, did they? I was like, I thought that was really bigged up beforehand and I was expecting like a big kind of thing about it, but it was just kind of very cinematic-y, trailery, wasn't it, really? Like, yeah. yeah. And that's, here's the release date, 7th November. That's a bit worrying. But uh, also, Crackdown 3, yeah, it looks okay, uh, obviously. There was Assassin's Creed, which they showed the bit of as well, which kind of... Yeah, that was okay more in Ubisoft, like though, sort of wasn't thing. it? Yeah. They showed a lot of Middle um, Earth Shadow of War, didn't they? That looked awful. I thought it, it did. Yeah, like I thought, I Everyone thought said it, it didn't look, look right. It looked worse than the one before. Yeah. yeah I don't know what they've done. It looked like a bad PC game. Mm, exactly <laughs> what it looks like. Yeah, shame. Oh, well. The Last Night looked, was my favourite game on there. Yeah, on I saw it. you tweeting about that, actually. Yeah, yeah it, it did look really good. Once again, it's like different style, isn't it? Because you, you go to all these conferences and you watch them and now, in 2017, what you expect is, you know, 4K graphics, these amazing, stunning character movements that look realistic. And I think it was really exciting to see a pixel-style game thrown in the mix as well. So I yeah. like that well, one yeah, too. But I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting that kind of style oh, to God. kind of no, integrate into... Like, how they started the um, cinematic, it kind of looked a lot different to how it kind of ended it finished. up... Yeah, and I was like, oh, I loved it because I mean, I love simplistic games like that. They're really, they're so enjoyable. I just, I love them. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, it's fun to watch. It, it reminded me of. Uh, did any of you guys play Lone Survivor? Oh, I have. Yeah. Yeah, sure. It, it reminded me. Of it reminded me of that. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay, so no, yeah, Microsoft. There we go. Let's leave them and move on. Is again. anyone going to buy an Xbox One X? I'm not. No, no I'm not. it's I, too in fact, expensive. <laughs> I could just round up by saying... I don't have £500. Even if dollars. it was... To be honest, even if it was 250 I didn't really get convinced that I need one. No. I've got an Xbox One S and there was nothing in that conference to say I need this. When I've got mm, a PS4 yeah. Pro already... And I'm able to play the games that really is going to be on Xbox One anyway, because it's mostly third-party games. Then I don't really need a few extra pixels because the PS4 Pro will make them look good anyway. So it doesn't really yeah. justify. They didn't really justify where you need that. I don't yeah. think. If I had, if I only had an Xbox, then I might consider That's it. Great. But having the PS4 Pro, I don't think I really need it to be honest. So, I didn't yeah. see any games that made me think. Like, I desperately need an Xbox One X. I just saw things as like, oh, that's nice. Maybe, you know, because it's just launch exclusivity. If that ever wears yeah. off, I'll just try and get that on PS4 at some point in the future. So for me, I mean, but then again, I don't play Xbox. So, you know, if you talk to an Xbox player, they might be like, oh, gosh, yeah, I need an Xbox One X so badly. I'm pre-ordering one today. <laughs> so we're not really like the right audience, are we? Really? No, I literally, no. I just, I, I've literally got an Xbox One on the account of it allows me to play games that aren't available on PS4. That is, like, yeah. predominantly the reason I've got it. It's not, you know, because... It's better. It, yeah, it be- it's better, better in my opinion. It's, you know, it's just a matter of I don't get to play other games otherwise and I don't want to kind of narrow down the games I can play. Yeah, you know. that's a good... I wish if I had enough money, I think I'd do that too. <laughs> okay, let's move on again. Bethesda now. Oh, uh, gosh. Um, Bethesda land... <laughs> Oh, that was awful. I, I, it I'm was so glad that I didn't stay it? up to five o'clock in the morning to watch that rubbish. <laughs> 25 oh, minutes God. of just a trailer that they could have posted at any time. They could have. Yeah, was there, I can't actually remember now. Was there a moment where someone actually came on stage and talked about a game or was it completely just Bethesda land? it was all just Was like it? I can't remember. Yeah. 
Wow, that's so weird compared to the other conferences. I skipped bits to be honest because I got bored, Did so you? I just skipped to the games. So Doom and Fallout, getting VR versions, Evil Within two. I missed the Dishonored game. Was that a new Dishonored game announced? Because yeah, I noticed it, some box art today. Like, it looks more like DLC, to be honest. It but said standalone. It come, but it's got everything. yeah, it's a standalone expansion. It's called Dishonored: Death of the Outsider. I saw it on Amazon today. Yeah, uh, I've dishonored one of those series that I've never really had the time to dedicate, you know, to. Yeah, I'm the same. Really. Apparently, this time you play as Billy Work, who's gone out, who's gone all solid snake with a cybernetic arm and eye. She pairs up with a notorious assassin, Dodd, to kill the outsider, the mysterious boy band member that grants players superpowers. Sounds odd. But yeah, <laughs> there's a trailer if you want to watch. Can it. I just Some say for this conference? One of my predictions came true. Yeah. <laughs> You've been right. waiting to say that, I have. you? <laughs> I've never, ever got a prediction right ever before for like any of the other E3s or any of the other like PlayStation experiences. So when I saw, well, I know it was leaked before the conference came out, Evil Within 2, but when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, I might have just the tiniest slither of knowledge rather than just optimism. <laughs> no, Didn't that was you like see about Wolfenstein 2 as well? I think I did, yeah, yes. but I... I was a bit more confident on Evil Within, but that's more your category, isn't it, Nicole? You're excited. Oh, don't. Literally, it came on and, like, straight up, you just knew the old kind of, you know, the old um, advert style and that, and I was just like, that's straight up Wolfenstein. And then the big metal dog, and I was just like, oh, life is good again. Like, I'm honestly so thrilled for it. It just looked like the same kind of carnage from the first two games, and I was just there like, oh, my God, I'm pretty sure I teared up at one point. It was that good. Yeah, and just Wyatt at the end tripping on acid. I was like, you know, this game could not be more bonkers, and I love it. It's so it's it's, it's so good, year, isn't it? October twenty seventh, two thousand seventeen. Yeah, I, I liked to have to admit that like most of the conferences, quite a lot of the big games they unveiled were coming either later this year or early two thousand and eighteen. I really liked that. There was only yeah, a few where it was just oh, no release date for now. Yeah. <laughs> So that is unbearable, isn't it? When it's just like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. you just show me all this good footage, and I can't play it for you know like years yet. I remember right. watching Days Gone at last year's E3 conference, and I was like, this looks amazing, but when is it coming <laughs> out? And this year it was like, release date, please. <laughs> Literally, that was me as well. Oh gosh, brilliant. Yeah, so I don't even think it's worth talking about their conference because, to be honest, it's, it was there's not much oh. else to say. It is I mean, pretty poor. The only poor. thing you might want to talk about is that they recognized we were talking a few podcasts ago about the lack of vr and somebody actually messaged us on twitter saying do you think we'll see more vr and these were like the first guys to actually even though it's just remakes you know installations of fallout 4 and doom they actually did address the lack of vr in a way you could say although yeah, it always I mean, seems to be on vive is that right well, yeah no i think that's VR right yeah version. but um Doom VR looks really good. I can imagine that'd be quite, you know, intense considering oh, yeah. the game scares the living hell out of me. <laughs> quite, you know, pardon the pun I, as well, because but it's based on demons. That's true. Yeah. I get, I get, I feel sick playing Doom normally, so there's no way I'll be able to play it in VR. <laughs> mm. I, must, I was thinking I must get, I might get a VR just for that. Cause, yeah, we know, were talking about last week. We were like, no. None of us have VR. None of us have been able to talk about VR games. So take one for the team. Get VR for us. Yeah, I'll be yeah, doing that. I want, I'll just be there. I like, want to get PlayStation. Recordings. I want to get the PlayStation VR again eventually when I can afford it. That's what I want to get. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, who's next? Ubisoft. Ubisoft next. Ubisoft, I really in my conference. opinion, was, that was, really it was the best fantastic. one. I think that was the best one out of the lot, personally. Yeah, I'd agree with you. I think out of up until that point, 100% the best one out of the lot. Yeah. It, I think it was um, it was really emotional, wasn't it? At the end, so that guy started getting upset about the um, Beyond Good and was it Beyond Good and Beyond Good and Evil Two? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that looked amazing. I really like the look of that. I know it was always you know, all CGI and stuff. We probably won't see it for another three years. That game, but uh, yeah, it did look good. Really, kind of you know tickled my sense of humour. I mean, you know, it's like you know, a lot of kind of swearing and you know. But mm. it was, I, I thought it was really, really kind of got, got me going. I might uh, play um, the one before, the first oh, one. Yeah, the first I might actually one. play that in between now and when it comes out because uh, it's definitely a title I'll probably end up picking up. I've never played the first one. What's it on? What it was on PS2. That was the thing. It was a 15-year gap, apparently, between this and 
the release of this. Yeah, so. you're right. It was funny. I played it on GameCube back in the Did day. You? Yeah, it was really good. I, I hated the look of the second one. I'm going to play Devil's Advocate. I thought it was awful. <laughs> I didn't, to be fair. I don't like saying all this because I feel like you're going to attack me. But <laughs> I also, I agree with Dan. I was just sort of a bit like, oh, what's this? It looks yeah. a bit weird. There's like monkeys. Way too and, much swearing. Yeah. The characters <laughs> weren't, weren't um, didn't look, not that it didn't look the same because that's not a fair negative point. It just, I don't know, it's like they've sold out and ruined it. The, the mm. first one had a really nice art style. The story was really good. It was kind of set in this fantasy world where it was not all flowers and rabbits, but it was a nice world. And then this one, they just seem to have, I don't know. Maybe just... everybody's just so desperate to get with this, you know, stunning graphics, 4K, and it just ruins some games, I think. Yeah, yeah it was a shame. Not. It's a bit hard to say what it's going to be like. Really. I mean, like, it's only a CGI trailer, so we're never going to know what exactly it's like until we're playing it, until we at least get some gameplay True. footage. Because, I mean, it's, it's a trailer. And it's a bit like other stuff they showed as, like, uh, Skull and Bones, I guess. I mean, that looked quite <laughs> interesting, but again, it's oh, just gosh. a trailer, isn't it? The end of that, where like you know, you saw the shadow emerge from under the ship. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I was just you, there, like, oh chills. <laughs> do you guys think that pirate games are the new zombie games? There was so many pirate it games that way. in this conference. Well, to be fair, over the entire of you know all, of all the conferences, I was like, oh, another pirate. Oh, there's another pirate game. Yeah, but it's good because there's not really been many. To I mean, they're, yeah. they're kind of navy well, games have been integrated, Creed, wasn't there? Yeah, but well, I mean, they've got, all been um, integrated into a, a bit, like a bigger picture as opposed to being solely orientated around like piratey kind of things. Mm. Zelda The and Wind I mean, Waker was, oh, a, true, was yeah. pretty much a pirate game. Ocean Horn. Oh, that game is so good. So yeah, there's a, there, there's been a few before, but you're definitely yeah. right. They seem to be more on. The but I mean, that Vogue. Skull and Bones, obviously, where it was like they said they took a lot from Black Flag. It literally played exactly like it. Yeah, um, it I found it was quite. I don't know. It's kind of the only trouble with that is it always comes across a bit samey which is um, obviously not really good when you're looking for a new game. But There was uh, more VR as well in this uh, transference. That was like a psychological horror thing to me, so I think I'll avoid it because yeah, I'm not a bit. <laughs> too in your face. And VR is just it's so intense because it's in front of you. But like I said about the last conference, I'm glad that they, you know, they addressed that VR is a bit limited, so they put a few more games in each conference i think apart from ea and nintendo they had a little go at here's our attempt at vr here's another vr yeah. game from us so i like that I thought that was really good i mean um, they, all, they also had like a what was it assassin's creed which we'll just skip over in there yeah origins more footage so I, i'm trying to think what else far cry that again far cry that was okay. i thought that looked so good i like definitely want to get that now, yeah, now I that thought I've seen that was that. and then uh, also the last one will talk about on their conference i guess is uh, the rabbits mario one which <laughs> i'm not a fan of mario i'm not a fan of rabbits so oh, it's kinda... you don't like mario no <laughs> Joe, what no i just never really liked mario don't know why just don't some I of the games it, um... i do like but some of the games i enjoy playing but i'm not really a big fan of mario i think he's kind of needs to be retired now just thrown away and start with new stuff wasn't it so cool that my moto came on stage though i was so happy when i saw him that was pretty good wasn't it yeah and he had his little cannon like oh i loved it no that's nothing for me yeah. i like literally went crazy when i saw that because um, zelda was the game that got me into gaming so my first six games were zelda games i didn't even realize that there was an entire universe of games out there i just thought there was zelda and that was all there was so I'm a big fan of him. I think he's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay, you think he's great. I can't hold that again. I just think, well... <laughs> I, I, Joe's just I'm, holding back a bunch of abuse right now. <laughs> I'm just... You can no, say I'm it just not. I'm just not a Nintendo fan, so I can't... I, I'm, what, can't is, what would the word be? The word would... I'm just... No, but we wouldn't don't... have gaming if we didn't have Miyamoto. So nah, true. No, I respect you know... everything he's done. I'm not against yeah. him or anything, but I'm just saying that Nintendo doesn't really dent for me in terms don't of Don't float IPs your boat to keep the pirate <laughs> puns going. Mm -hmm. oh, the, only, yeah. the only IP I like from Nintendo really is Zelda. 
That's me. Mm. I'm literally yeah, so like the only thing that spurs me on with Nintendo is like Pokemon, which is obviously more great oh, like Game Freak anyway. So yeah. I mean, Pokemon Nintendo, uh, Pokemon Zelda, and Animal Crossing. That like <laughs> oh, Animal Crossing as well. There's a mine yeah. as well, to be fair. But yeah, but apart from that, I'm not really a big Mario fan. So and I'm so developers now, like you say, you got excited when they come on stage. To be honest, I'm not really. That's not sort of thing that excites me. It's a bit like Kojima coming on stage. I'd be like. If I saw them oh, in the street, I probably would go, oh, that's them. But then I would just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I would chase them down the street going, oh, can I have a selfie? Now, if I saw... Oh, now, is that a knock at me? Right? My... <laughs> you, now, that. now, if I saw Yoshida <laughs> across the road, I would run over and get a selfie with him. Because <laughs> I think Yoshida's own. awesome. He's the one that walks on the stage. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's Yoshida. He's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. Anyway, I, uh, what's next? Oh, we may as well move on to Nintendo now, since we're talking okay. about them. Okay, we'll skip uh, Actually, that was today. Uh, I don't know what to think it, really. I thought it was good, but... I really liked it. The fact Quite that sweet. It too. the Half games long, are too far away. Like, for instance, Pokemon, oh, oh, probably more than a year, this is the Pokemon RPG yeah, full that's title good. for Switch, but yeah, we didn't really good. see that to 2019, I don't think, because he said oh, it's development's more than in development now. You probably won't see it for more than a year. So if we say more than a year, that takes us to about Christmas 2018, or possibly early 2019. So that's quite a while away. And then they're going on about Metroid 4, which again, great, but all we saw was got an image on the screen saying Metroid Just game 4. Just development, yeah. 2019 again probably or maybe mm -hmm. wait 2018 so i mean you'd get two big games that everybody's quite excited about no animal crossing which is a shame yeah i was and, i was kind of hoping for something along the animal crossing lines because i mean it's been a it's while been very since long time. Quite, yeah since like, Leap proper... was the last wasn't it was it oh no there was that home um there was that home there was a home, happy home designer happy and they had like designer. the uh mm -hmm. the festival one as well but i mean like they're not kind of they're no. kind of like spin-offs, aren't they, essentially? You want They're an not actual like... game. But yeah. really, apart from that, what else? You, you, you got a new uh, Kirby. You got, uh, I mean, the DLCs well. for Zelda were announced. DLC. Yeah. Although we kind of knew they were coming packs. anyway. We did know they were coming. And Back then... to um, Pokemon, though. Do you think that, you know, the games being switched from a handheld device to a console means that the 3DS won't have a successor? It will just be... You know, well, obviously it might have success for other games, but do you think that Pokemon now, you know, are we on Gen, which Gen are we on? Are we on Gen 8 or are we on Gen... Um, I can't, Gen flip, I can't right, remember um, where we're on. I need to count them on my hand. Uh, what was it? Uh, so it's... Uh, it could be handheld only, that game, even it, though it's on Well, Switch. yeah, it could be. I just feel like, is that them? Because, I mean, Pokemon's never been on a console before, has it? It's always been on handheld devices. So that's quite, that's huge, that is, that they've, yeah. you know, moved it over. Uh, it's literally my incentive to get a Switch. Like, with Well, it made, I down. mean, not me personally, but my boyfriend was just saying, I want a Switch now, like, just for that. Like, but I it, need yeah. a Switch. Like I say, it's so far away, and we don't know anything about it, that it's all just speculation, really. We don't even know what it will be. It might just it's look exciting, quite a 3DS though, game. It's exciting. I'm grateful. It gives yeah. me time to save, Joe. But it might <laughs> just look quite the 3DS game, so it might just be the exact same as that. But, and then you can't really play it on the TV because it would look rubbish. So, I mean, it's hard to know. It's still just so need... exciting, I think. Though. But That's they're going to have to make it different. Yeah. The Pokemon games are always the same, aren't they? They're always the same. They don't yeah, really change. So it's, well, except, so good. except for the newer yeah. ones, Sun and Moon are quite, you know different oh yeah they introduced mega stones in um x and y yeah, yeah. but they're still kind of the same concept the top yeah, down it's definitely catch get pokemon, pokemon go to the league beat the league yeah ball. but they're going to need to change know. it up now i still like them they're going to need to change it up now aren't they and well maybe that's what this new one will be i mean if it's not coming out for a few years they might really switch it up in those few years between announcement and release yeah. it's one of those games that i think it's too it's, I think it's quite uh, temperamental in respect to if you tamper with it and change the concept of it too much, mm -hmm. it just it will lose interest massively. Yeah, I so mean, that's... a lot of people got mad, didn't they, when they announced in um, the last two games that they weren't yeah. doing gyms anymore. They yeah, were like, literally. Oh, no, gyms are gone. Uh, now you've got to do trials. And people were like, oh, 
I don't I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not very happy with that. Yeah. I want gyms. So but it was okay, if, wasn't yeah. it? It was okay. Yeah, I mean, mm, I'm, but, pretty, it's all right. I mean, I prefer gyms personally, but I mean, as well, I it's just as well. where they focus so much on changing that whole concept. They didn't put in a lot of new Pokemon, and the Pokemon they put in yeah. were very like limited in regards to they weren't very different to each other. And yeah, I just, I mean, a lot of fish, a lot of like sea creatures, and a big palm tree. Again. Yeah, and not many of them yeah. were like. Not many of them had evolution chains. A lot of them were just like you know, just Pokemon that you just like leveled up. Like they didn't have, they didn't evolve or Actually, go any further than that. Do you know what we were talking about? How they introduced Mega Stones in X and Y. There was no more Mega Evolutions in Sun and Moon. Like they introduced that, Precisely. and they were like, "That's it." You know, don't know if it was not successful enough, but they introduced that whole concept in X and Y that I think a lot of people were excited for. People thought with Sun and Moon there'd be more Mega Evolutions, and then when we got the game, it was like, oh no, there's this, um, you can boost an attack though, yay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah it's great. I'm and that, my, even that's not good. I'm stating no. my foot out here because I'm getting, I'm getting away from the subject. <laughs> okay, we'll <laughs> we're stop Pokemon talking about Pokemon. debate, we have to reel it back in. Because <laughs> we're going to have to talk about Sony, because we're going yay, on that time good. otherwise. But uh, yeah, let's just sum up Nintendo. I mean, like we say, it's it's quite far away. Pokemon, Metroid, they're going to be far away. We got the Kirby, we got the Yoshi, we got Rocket League for uh, Switch, which I think will be brilliant personally because I think it's a good game and I think yeah, people will be quite really excited good game. about that. Cross yeah, play as that. well, so you can play on Switch with Xbox and PC players, but Sony doesn't want part of that for some reason. No. Uh, but that's their decision. Uh, so yeah, it was a, it was probably a decent enough thing. I wouldn't call it a conference. It's a yeah, it was thing. a bit short, wasn't it? Just that, a, I mean, I think they the did a good job for what they, it's just a bit what they had. Right, good, Sony. It. Let's move on. <laughs> Dan, Sorry, you're off so a quiet today. Sorry? You're off a quiet. I haven't, I didn't watch much of this. Though, so Have you I'm watched Sony? Like, it's like I'm listening to the podcast <laughs> after we've recorded it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do Sony then. Here, one thing I'll say, first of all, about Sony is I just thought the way it was set out was absolutely brilliant. Mm. With how it amazing would it have been to be in the audience the with, with the, the sand as well? And the it was um, what was it? The um, when they did the the, they like, the whole the, ocean like, thing as well, yeah. and, like all the lights on the walls. Like if I was there, I'd be like, oh, it was so chilling. It I loved it. Also, yeah. they really use. I mean, like when they did Days Gone and they showed like a freaker upside down. When they sort of backed out, and on the stage there was three actors hanging upside down. I yeah, thought that was literally. Because so cool. yeah. obviously Sean come out, didn't you? He's just like, yeah, I didn't know I was actually going to have to be walking out under underneath these zombies. These yeah, like <laughs> I really impressive. liked that. But anyway, before we go into that, there's just a few things they didn't mention that I want to mm. mention because they. <laughs> There was they just there was quite a lot they didn't talk about. For instance, everybody's golf. They didn't even show that. And I'm well excited for that game. Uh, yeah. Grand Fifth oh, Grand Fifth Grand Grand Turismo Sport. Grand Turismo. That got dated for that's apparently coming in the autumn. Uh, there was another No last dated. of us. Uh, no, there was no last of us, but it's just the games uh, that are coming out this year that uh, they didn't really mention. Oh, that you expected. Um, There's a new experience uh, they announced as well, which they didn't even talk about. Let me find that. It's called Playlink. Did any of you see that? Uh, I don't mm. think I did. I saw the logo no. for it. Yeah, one of the games anyway. is actually free. There's quite a few games for this. It's a sort of new initiative thing, but there's quite a few games for it, and one of them's free with PS Plus next month. Oh, yeah, uh, I did, yeah. But Job basically... How it works is basically you use your mobile phone to play the games. So you're playing on okay. PlayStation 4, but you're using your mobile phone to play them. So, so have it... you played Jackbox before? No, I've not. Okay. I'd imagine it's a bit like that. So Jackbox is a multiplayer game where you, you put the disc in or you download it from the store. And then if you've got three or four mates around, you all go to, you put the game in, you start it up. Um, and then you use your phones as the controllers, and it's like a like a board game or a quiz or something, and then you answer into your phone. Yeah, that I think this is similar. Like so this is called Playlink. So one of them, one of the games is called Hidden Agenda, and uh, that's kind of made by Supermassive Games, who make mm. Until Dawn. Until Dawn, yeah. And you oh, can yeah, sort yeah. of crowd play on your phone and work together to track a serial killer. 
so you mm. kind of oh gosh clothes that sounds intense and stuff like that Thank and you. there's also another one called uh, that shoe and then this trailer shoe was in it uh, she she da. and basically in this one you can draw faces on your friends and stuff like that and it's just basically like a party game but i think there's going to be a whole bunch of games which use this play link so that's why i just wanted to mention it because it it didn't even kind of get a mention mm. yeah it sounds yeah. interesting it does it sound really good like yeah. a big uh, multiplayer experience so possibly. obviously everyone's going to get to test it because it comes out and plays one of the games that uses it as for the on playstation plus next month yeah. mm. cool so, yeah. it reminds me a bit of um nicole you've played a new frontier haven't you i have indeed yep Towards the at the end of that, you can link your phone up and you can play with a group of people and they can vote on the big choices, like which option you should take. It reminds me a bit of that. Yeah, the yeah, one, yeah. The one I mentioned, that sure, that's the one that's free on PlayStation Plus. Is it? Yeah, so there you go. Uh, I swear there was another game dated, uh, another Sony game. I'm just trying to think what it was. Yeah, Knack 2 was, wasn't it? Ah, that's September. the one. Yeah, <laughs> Knack 2. So, again, they oh. didn't show that. They showed that in their pre-show, apparently. But, uh, oh, yeah, that I, was I, dated. I'm just, I'm just glad I didn't see anything to do with that because that game and me just don't get on. Like, I'm just going to oh. be Isn't honest. That the, is that the game you put as your worst game on your summary? On yes, because it drove I me nuts. It was. That oh, is hard at kids, it. and that is the hardest game I've ever played in my life. The end battle actually made me bite my controller. I got that annoyed. Really? Oh, yes, <laughs> it hurt me. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, I like it. Too. It's a fantastic, fantastic game, but I hate it. <laughs> okay, let's move on to conference then, because we've been talking for ages and we've not even talked about Sony really yet. So let's talk about their conference. I, I, let's see, I never wrote any of it down, so I'm just kind of doing it for what I remember memory. So I know yeah, they showed uh, Uncharted the first. Uncharted. The DLC. Yeah, it looked fantastic. This. Did you guys have audio issues or was it just me? Yes, it was. Uh, did were you watching the Twitch stream? Yeah, I watched it on Twitch. Yeah, I switched that's to what... YouTube because I, yeah. I just couldn't understand anything. It sounded so echoey. I was just, I was like, what's happening? I thought it was the cinematic effect, you know, when yeah, it that's started. What I thought. And I was like, I still can't understand what's safe yeah, happening. Was, I'm um, I read up after that it was um, the Twitch stream itself had the issues, but um, everyone was talking to YouTube and then everyone was going, swap back to Twitch, it's okay, it's oh not like, God. you know, it's fixed I now. Just, I just, just switched to GameSpot stream eventually and that worked. I watched it on so. YouTube at the end, but it was fine. I just went through PlayStation's website. Oh, did you? Yeah, Maybe that was the yeah, most reliable one. Well. But yeah, yeah, anyway, let's talk about conference. Like say, first was Uncharted, that... That, I mean, there's Looks not much good. you can say about that. Oh. That always looks amazing. So, yeah. I yeah. so bad. Chloe, Chloe Fraser was... back with... Oh. Looks like a, a full game, doesn't it? I know yeah. it's not. I know it's DLC, but it really looks like... It's got, it. like, loads of open world bits, which I'm seeing, which makes me, you know, which to me indicates it might be a bit longer than originally yeah, anticipated. Around, I think it's around 10 hours long or something, apparently. I mean, it's got the price of a full game, hasn't it? Isn't it? Like it's 40 30. Pounds? I think oh, it's no, 30 on game. It's 25. 25. Oh, it's 25. I saw, it's I don't know like if it's was... 29.99 on game. Oh, you're, yeah, you, that, you're making it. a mistake there. You're going to game. Add £5 <laughs> well, to any game. Or... Oh, no, no, just I go to Amazon. We just don't go anywhere but game and you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> games like, games no. like where I just, games just, no, games my thing. That's where you've oh, always gone. So expensive. Yeah. <laughs> How, oh, do we, how do we st- hang up on the call? I don't remember. Don't get us started <laughs> on game. Don't you start. Oh, if you've listened to the podcast, you know what we think of game. <laughs> yeah, we try not to talk about it, don't we? Because it just gets, gets very dark very up. quick. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I, I actually bought that triple pack. I can't remember what it was called. But when Uncharted 4 first came out, came out they had the triple triple pack or something where you get two pieces of multiplayer and the single player dlc for 20 pound or something so i managed to get that when uncharted 4 first came out so obviously they changed it all since then but because i still own this i get that new expansion as part of that that's really good wow you 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 know so that's pretty good so yep and then i was pleased to see new horizon content yeah it's so quick oh, yes. as well i mean so Horizon good. came out in march and it, that means that just shows you how successful it's been doesn't it that yeah. it's got a dlc I can't it. Play it's this good anymore. Well. horizon oh have you given what? up what? i won't be buying it no i haven't given up i'm gonna 
get the platinum. You finish the just, platinum. I won't be playing anymore. Why? What's wrong with it? I just not we had a debate it. about this last week that went on for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, yeah, I'm just it's not enjoying different. it. But it's fine. It's fine. Getting it's the awesome. collectibles was a grind. I agree, but I mean the game as a whole, I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, See, what annoyed yeah, me was great. the story. Like I just. I just switched off about halfway through with this story and I was saying to Dan last week or two weeks ago I just skipped cutscenes and I didn't even feel oh, guilty yeah. about it. I was like oh I just want to play like I'll get to the game I'll, I'll skip this cutscene and when the uh, conversation wheel came up I just went to the exit option straight away and I was like that's I what I ended up doing game. yeah it's interesting a lot of people have said that to me actually I've, um, but... I've got all the collectibles yeah. now I've just got to get Finish through the story, story. Mm. yeah so. It yeah. was yeah, so also oh, next up was Days Gone. Now it's great. I think. That looks so good. Because I mean, we see a bit, yeah, oh another gosh. zombie game, but it's not really. It kind of feels different from just a zombie game. I think it feels. It's because, sorry, Nicole, you go. You say what you want. Well, I was just, I was just gonna say, it feels like it's gonna be a lot more tense. I mean, where obviously it's not like your actions are gonna have a consequence in regard to you're gonna attract two or three zombies. I mean, if you mess up, you're overrun. Mm, like, that's what I was going to mention. Like that guy blowing up the um, the fence in the that dam. bit. Yeah, if he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, he would have been. That would be it, and he'd have to do like you know start from scratch. And I mean, I like the idea of that kind of pressure. Mm. See, I've just finished playing Resident Evil Seven, and I'm going to write a thing for that for Squirt, so so I won't say too much. But um, <laughs> I like how Days Gone is sort of mirroring the survival horror that resident evil has where you don't have enough ammo there's too many enemies you can never stay in an area long enough to really scope it out because you're a constant threat i just think it looks incredible i am 100 percent going to be pre-ordering this and i only yeah, i probably sure. pre-order like one game a year i will definitely be pre-ordering this i just think it looks too good to miss yeah i think it's quite impressive actually so yeah what else do we see god of war oh, oh yeah my god, god i love yeah. god of war i've always really liked that series it looks so vast I've never like, played a God of War game. I haven't, I haven't played them yet, but this has kind of given me the incentive to go play them now. Play because the other ones. It looks what I'm, insane. Well, I'm worried about it, because the, other, the previous God of Wars, what, what could I liken them to? What sort of game can I liken them to? They're a bit like Dark Cry, aren't they? Crossed with, yeah, like, kind yeah. of a bit like Darksiders as well, where it's kind of just bash them up and it just mindless violence it's, a, it's, a, it's <laughs> like a platinum game isn't it basically yeah it looks like yeah, it yeah sort of but uh, what I'd worry about is this one looks more kind of cinematic I mean they've always been quite impressive graphically and cinematic but the actions the action do you know what I mean that's completely different that's fast paced and it's good so I'm just wondering how that if that's changed at all by the look of it, but hopefully it's not. But I mean, it looks it'll incredible. It'll be interesting to see. Anyway. It looks really good. I mean, we yeah. knew we were going to see a lot of it, didn't we? But it looked really good. Yeah. So um, I was really excited about though. Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, I, um, yeah. I love that. I'm. That's another game I'm definitely going to get. I won't pre-order it, but I'm. Re I mean, I've just finished Last Guardian maybe like a month ago, and I didn't have a PS, you know, three or a PS two or a PS one, so I've not been able to play Ico or. Shadow of the Colossus, so this is just such a great opportunity for me to actually link Last Guardian and its predecessor together, essentially. Yeah, yeah. I amazing. haven't played it either, because um, I kind of, I think at the time I was a bit short for money and I bought the um, HD remaster on PS3. How did you? Yeah, and I started on uh, Shadow of the Colossus and I was just, I was really thrown by it and I just didn't have the patience at the time. Mm. But I mean, like you said as well, after playing The Last Guardian... I've really kind of wanted that want kind of it, style. Yeah, yeah I really, I really do want to indulge and have that patience because from what I've read and seen, like, I mean, even on TV, I mean, it's one of those really kind of poignant games that will stay with you for a very long time and I, I find that so endearing in a game nowadays, so. Yeah. yeah. The, um, it's the kind of game that you, without spoiling it too much, you don't want to finish it because of what you so do good. as you finish it. You're, you're, Yeah. It's oh, a really good wait. game. I'm really yeah, excited it's, for that. Please yeah. do that. But I just, can I just, it was something I meant to say about Days Gone. I just want to say yeah. that I think uh, Sony Bender just such a great studio. Oh, yeah. I just think they're I mean, great. That so looks incredible, that I'm game. Pleased, I'm, pleased to, I'm pleased that they're doing their first sort of full PS4 game because before they've yeah. always kind of been doing other things, maybe helping out and stuff. And they've done Uncharted on the Vita, but uh, they're such a great studio. So I'm just I mean, so hopefully it them. encourages them to, you know, if Days Gone goes down well, hopefully we'll see more from them in the future. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, so what else, what else 
Uh, Spider Man. Oh, oh, no, we'll leave Spider-Man. that to last because that was the last game show. <laughs> we'll I have come, a lot to say. We'll come yes. back to that. Uh, but, uh, see my tweet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, literally, because that's what everyone was thinking. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it to we'll talk about everything else first, though, because it was the conclusion of Sony, wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah. we better. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm to already think getting what else. angry, I can feel it. <laughs> what else? What else? Uh, um, Detroit Become Human was shown. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. quite interesting. That I quite liked his games. Uh, oh, what's his name again? Dave, David. David Cage. Cage, David, yeah. yeah. I think it. his game's quite cool. Generally, and I thought that that looked quite nice. Actually, it looked quite interesting the way the way he'd done it. It's sort of like his style evolving, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Because uh, what well, I had in my head that it would be because um, is he wait is he the guy that did like Heavy Rain and that? Yeah. 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 He did. Yeah. Because I thought like um, with those games, obviously, it looks like in this one you have a lot more kind of third person maneuverability. Like you go places and do things as opposed to just kind of walk for a little bit and then it's a big kind of interactive drama pushing buttons and stuff like that it looked a bit more kind of kind of like just a third person i want to say like a third person kind of shoot a game in like or an action game they look more like that as opposed to just the interactive drama which i think would be quite interesting to yeah be although i do yeah, think i do think choice is still going to probably play the largest yeah. part in it by the looks of things i like that from... in games though because it means that once you've played it through once you can go back and play essentially an entirely different game just by picking different choices during your yeah, game exactly play. i mean it's yeah. not a bad thing it seems okay to me so i'm not complaining or oh, another game yeah. showed off monster hunter world i thought that would take terrible i was yeah, not going on with this that. series what was going on with the green like spores that you kept throwing oh yeah in the air? what yeah, was that, that was, that's what like was even it? my mum was there going what the hell is he doing i was just like i don't know don't ask me that is probably that going so to weird. sell a bucket load of ps4s in japan it, yeah yeah oh, it's, it's reaching that ar- target audience isn't it i mean that used yeah. to sell remember that used to sell like about a million 3DSs every time a new game was released. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy the amount it would sell, so I'm wondering how well that's going to do. Because obvi- yeah. Obviously, it doesn't seem to become Switch, but it's coming to PS4 and Xbox One and PC. So I... Which is strange, isn't it? Because it was always inherently a, a Nintendo 3DS or DS game. Yeah. Well, it's like what we said earlier. Do you think the 3DS is just shutting down and the switch is going to be the main console for nintendo oh, yeah there's no doubt that's it will at happen. some point yeah they just need the sales and then they'll soon so they're moving everything. everything over to the switch but yeah where, there was another consoles another good thing that sony is that they did show off quite a few uh vr games VR? yeah lots of vr right there was the six vr games yeah <laughs> again super massive games again they they yeah. done two I think the impish, I think they the did impatient too. which is a, yeah that looks good that's isn't a that in prequel the to world Until of, Dawn yeah it's in the world of it isn't it in Blackwell so that uh, could be interesting I can't the name of it, but and there was mind. also a shooter one as well where that they uh, done was that Bravo Team I think that's or... what it's called I Bravo Team so that's yeah. by them yeah. as well so they've been busy <laughs> yeah well they've obviously got a um the 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 kind of the software down so they're just reskinning it and putting the story into their yeah. into their engine i suppose yeah which so is that's good. quite that's quite good to see them busy because obviously they're doing that other game the play link game as well so uh yeah it's at least free from them i'm not sure how many more we've got in the pipeline the one thing we did forget to mention and I don't think it was in Sony's conference, but I'm just going to mention it anyway, is that Life is Strange prequel was confirmed. Oh, yes. oh my gosh, how yeah. did I forget that? I forgot that, that yeah. was Microsoft. Oh it's because they showed it really quick, isn't it? Oh, yeah. here it is. Yeah. Uh, next game. Here, that, that's my problem with Microsoft. But the, it just went too fast. The actor, yeah, yeah. the Chloe voice actor, she's not going to return due to a that's voice so actor weird. strike. So she won't be on it. Oh. And it's only three parts as well. Yeah. Yeah, One I saw that, yeah. Yeah, so Even so, though, we're going to play it, aren't you? Like yeah. I can't wait. I can't it's, wait. The, yeah. I mean, the other games were fantastic, so I'm like, you know, I just I can't wait to get back into it. But. Yeah, so that's exciting. I just thought I'd put that in because we've got to talk about it. But uh, yeah, the VR, there was quite a bit, like you mentioned, there was that Final Fantasy 15 fishing one as well. As well. <laughs> yeah, Monsters of the Deep VR. And Skyrim VR, oh my god. 
I, I don't know. I just feel like the VR. Ha- it looked horrific. Yeah. Like they know. literally are fishing for like content for the VR. They're like, oh, uh, let's put it, this in here. Let's sky do this VR. This though, that could be brilliant. I don't that know. could be. That does look quite good. I don't know about <laughs> it. <laughs> It's hard to know unless you play it, but I think that could be good. But then, do I want to buy Skyrim again? Do I want to buy it for Switch? I I've know Skyrim's just like resale, 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 isn't it? I've I mean, it, literally. I've bought the remastered version for PS4. It's got, at some point, you'd think to yourself, right, if you own the PS, PS4 remastered version, we'll give you do the you really need version it, for yeah. free. Yeah, because do you really give need to go out free? and buy a new version on maybe, the we, maybe they will give us it for free if we're on the remaster I mean that version. would be nice that would be a nice yeah. little shout out to the players who are you just know just update actually it buying Skyrim. On, there's an update you can put in VR now if you want as well that that would be fair I think because I mean how many times is it going to make you buy the thing I know <laughs> how many, still, how many like, more times know, can they milk it right what Money else what else, around, as they say. what else what yeah, else did they show um Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite was nah, shown. Nah, not bored about that. Also. Not bored oh, yeah. about that. Uh, Destiny 2. That Did you? Destiny 2 was given a Destiny yeah. 2, yeah, I'm not fussed, but I'm sure there's going That was about it, really, to be fair. Right. The Call of Duty yeah. was that shown as well, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yes, very it briefly. Actually, yes. Right, a bit too briefly, I think it kind of puts into perspective how much that franchise has kind of slipped now. Yeah, I don't think Sony was really concentrating on third parties because they never showed Battlefront 2 either and they've got the marketing for that. Mm. Red yeah. Dead, marketing for it. They've got marketing for all these big games. FIFA even. And they didn't even show FIFA. Which no, that's what I mean, but I think I think it's all just like, you know, really powerful story, story-driven games that have kind of got, you know, kind of... They've taken the hold now. Yeah, they've kind of taken over things and that's what they want to show because they know that's where the interest has peaked at the moment, so... Yeah, mm-hmm. but I mean, FIFA's the biggest selling game in the world, so I mean... For some absurd reason. <laughs> oh, I reckon <laughs> Battlefront's going to be huge. Of content. Cool, yeah. I've, yeah. There's so many games they didn't show... Like I say, Gran Turismo didn't show it. That's coming out this year. Everybody's Golf out this year. Knack 2 out this year. Uh, just all these... So- even that Playlink out, this- out next month. I mean, there's so oh, many really? games. Crash Bandicoot, they could have gave that a little oh, gosh, push. I completely forgot about that. I was expecting at least a nod to that. Like, you know, just a little kind of animation or something. There like, was so you know. much they just skipped and never showed. So, I mean, they were obviously just trying to go for the impact. To be fair... It went so fast. It was like, is that it? it? Did. But yeah. when at the end of it, I was thinking, is that it? 60 minutes? That's not very long. But then the next morning when I had an hour think about it, I just thought it went so fast because it was so good. Because there <laughs> yeah. was just so many games showing and they were all really good games. That's why it went fast because I was enjoying it and it was so good. That's, yeah. And I'm thinking I, I want yeah. more. And that's I enjoyed kinda, it. Like ninety percent until the end, and then I felt let down. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. Man was amazing. <laughs> Just because the last, well, the ending of the the conference. What the thing that annoyed me is their choice of wording because that yeah. led me on. They said, and I quote, "a true PlayStation exclusive." <laughs> so my first thought was, "Oh my god." This is going to be Bloodborne 2. This is what I've been waiting for. This is why I got up at 2 o'clock in the morning. And then when I saw a city, I was like, okay, maybe not. Um, uh, Last of Us, Last of Us Part 2, it'll be that. And then I was like, Spider-Man? Okay. It's just not what I expected. I don't know why people were expecting Last of Us 2. Because there's no way they were going to show that. I mean, mean, that might be more of a PlayStation experience. I think it will be a star. Because Naughty Dog as well, they they didn't rush. They said, no. they said, oh, this, you aren't going to see this game for a while at the last PlayStation experience, so there was no way it was going to be shown at E3. And I neither... know, but they, they're famous for lying. Come on, they did tell us in they the original that, they, that we wouldn't be able to play as Ellie, and next thing you know, story, like, you know, it's all snowy, and you, you turn up as Ellie, and you're, you're like, Ellie? oh my god, what is this? No, nah, there was no way they were going to show, there was no way they were going to show something with Death Stranding. I mean, I, I would have loved to see what Sucker Punch it up to. Because they're still I mean, not showing their game oh, off. Bloodborne, but <laughs> oh well. What no, sucker punch up to? What are they words. doing? I, th- I don't know. Did they? I don't know whether they picked that choice of words on account of obviously their partnership with like um, Insomnia. Well, I don't know if they were no, like, they, Insomnia no, no I'll the tell you why they. Stuff. I'll tell you why they picked that choice like of words. No, I'll tell you why they picked that choice of words because they were having a dig at Microsoft. Oh, were they? That's exactly what they were doing. Yeah, because of. 
<laughs> that's okay. Because get that. yeah, they're saying true PlayStation <laughs> exclusive. Exactly. Wow, I'm so Literally slow. Not. Literally yeah. won't so be Microsoft's on another console going within exclusive, a year. Exclusive, exclusive, and then going no one sh- console exclusive or whatever. Where they're going no, that says exclusive. This it. When oh, we say I, exclusive, I get that, we mean that it's exclusive. Me. That's it was... the reason they said that it. it was a dig. They do that sort of thing. Oh, that's. I get that now. I think it's two o'clock in the morning. The it was too I early. Did, but I, I, I didn't feel like they were digging at Microsoft. I thought they were digging at me. I was just saying, like, well, I just got my hopes up, like a really good exclusive. And it's Spider-Man. Like, you know, I'm not disappointed in that respect. But I mean, pick your words you a bit more wisely. Yeah. disappointed. It looked amazing. <laughs> it looked yeah. brilliant. It looked so, so good. I, I see. I like it, but it's just, once again, not my thing. And I, I don't think superhero games aren't really my thing, to be fair. Sp- Spider Man's like the only game. superhero games I've enjoyed. I mean, Spider Man 2 on PlayStation 2, I think I rinsed that game so much that it didn't play on my PlayStation anymore. <laughs> it was like, no, I played it that much. Exactly, and I've been waiting for a good one. It's exactly what the way I thought they should do it. I'm thinking, really? don't make it cheesy, don't make it. Because I've played Spider Man games for, and some of them are really cheesy. I thought, the, no, I don't like the Activision licensed games. So things like mm. Deadpool. I, the old Spider-Man games, Transformers, it just feels like an empty shell of a world half the time with a cheesy story and not mm. much else. A bit like the Skylanders games where it's just really cheesy world and there's just, yeah. they're just basic and boring. That's the way I saw the games in the past. But Insomniac Games has brought what it knows, brought what it does really the story, the action, that's what they're good at and they've just made it their own and it just looks amazing. It kind of looks like something Sucker Punch would do and maybe that's why they didn't show Sucker Punch's game because they've been working that for years now so they're obviously keeping that one maybe a surprise for PSX maybe it's a new infamous, it could be Oh, if it was, oh gosh I'd rather them stop announcing new games though and start releasing really? some games. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I just yeah. I just realised that. But they are, Insomniac... to be fair. They are releasing new games. There's yeah. loads coming out this year. So they, they couldn't <laughs> literally cram any more into this year. I don't they couldn't what's the point of releasing God of War, Spider Man? Wednesday's gone coming out? Is that did that get December dated? they hinted at but So that could be this Probably year, not. right? I mean, like, December, I think it said, like, December 20... It says on Amazon, December 29th, so as close to next year as you can get with yeah. it still being this yeah, year. Yeah, so I think it might be this year, because obviously God of War and Spider-Man's probably next year, and there's probably quite a few others that's shown that next year. But, I mean, what more can they cram in this year? Like we said, everybody's Golf, Crash, uh, Night 2, uh, and then Gran Turismo Sport. And then, mm. obviously, you've got things like all the big third party that they've got marketing on that they're not like, going to steal their thunder. FIFA, Battlefront 2. They, they couldn't possibly cram any more in this year. This year's packed. So there's yeah. no point. There's What I like about the way Sony does things is we got Horizon in March. Give us a mm. God of War next March. Brilliant. What are Microsoft doing in that respect? They don't release games each year till November. Yeah. So then yeah, everybody goes. Point, isn't it? Everybody goes. Oh well, Sony's no games in November sort of thing. And when they say stuff, that it really annoys me because Sony's released about twenty games this year. Microsoft's not released any. Do you know? What yeah. I mean? <laughs> they literally they literally just pack them all into like a couple of months, and it's like oh, exactly. I like when it's kind of spread out over the duration of the yeah, year. So then you Sony can look does. forward. You buy something, you look forward to the next thing. Sony spreads yeah. out yeah. over the one year, time. and they're not afraid to release their big hitters. So, how many games have we had from them this year already, Woods? And they've all done really well. So, I mean, the, their strategy is quite good. So, I'm I'm not fussed that they're not... I mean, they barely ever announce games at E3 that come out this year anyway. That's not mm-hmm. what it's all about. It's about yeah. sort of the future of the console and what there is to look forward to to get you excited, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I think, I, I don't know, I prefer as well the kind of developers that Sony choose to work with. I mean, like the likes of Naughty Dog and that, where oh, yeah. it's not all just a rush to meet this, like, this, I, I can't explain, like, it's like a bar set. Like, oh, I yeah, have like to the release deadline. the game by this time. It's like, no, if the game is not ready, it's going to compromise player experience. We'll wait. And I mean, I admire that Sony pair with these, I, I, they must do it deliberately because there is a consistency. Well, I mean, but, Naughty Dog is, ex- well, it does a lot of exclusive games for... 
Right, yeah, so, so wouldn't buy Sony, so it would... <laughs> I mean, like, all of their games are incredible, aren't they? And, you know, we've probably had to wait a bit longer for them than Microsoft might have had to wait for so some of its, you know, owned companies. But they're so good. Like, you know, Last of Us and Uncharted, it's such a good company. That's what I mean. And how many times were they put back in that? And it's just like, it's yeah, worthwhile. I mean, it's not meeting deadlines and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's so worth because, it. They uh, because they don't rush them because they know if they're if they're made well they'll make money it's a bit like you could sort of liken it to 2k and rockstar you're not going to turn around to rockstar and go no we need this game now you can't have more time because rockstar can have as much time as it wants yeah red dead redemption remake it uh red dead redemption whatever it is i might get delayed a hundred more times but no one will care because when it comes out it'll be perfect so i mean i'm yeah. quite happy to have games that that work well rather than games that are rushed so, so yeah that's what i mean i mean you can see with like games like assassin's creed like i mean i'm really happy with the step up they took this year um because obviously where they were trying to meet that november october kind of deadline every year the games got really samey lazy and disgusting basically mm, they just and, I mean, got like, rebranded didn't they yeah, yeah that's so what i mean and I this year you can see break. Yeah, they, like this year you see in the gameplay and stuff, it's not just reskinned animations and game mechanics, it's brand new and I think that's refreshing. I really think that's going to bring the series kind of back into the game a bit. Okay. Hopefully so. Right, I'm going to, we're going to have to wrap it up because we've been <laughs> going on for ages, so let's just finish up by everyone saying what their favourite game announcement was. So we'll start mm-hmm. with Nicole, you can tell us what your favourite game announcement was. Um, you don't need to, to explain just why, just Wolfen's tell us. Wolfenstein 2, just. Okay. What about you, Rebecca? Um, ooh. See, I would say Days Gone, but that wasn't technically announced, so I will say Evil Within 2, because I loved the first game. Okay, Dan? Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Of course. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. What a good gamer I am. <laughs> Joe, yours? I'm stuck. <laughs> there's too many games <laughs> Mario uh, Rabbids oh. yeah, yeah Mario that's what <laughs> I, think, on, Joe. I think for me it's I know we said announced but I'm just thinking my favourite games that were shown so for me it's between sort of God of War and Spider-Man mm. those two I can't squirt them you can only have one if you can only afford to buy one of them, which one do you oh, buy? Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> uh, God of War. You're killing him. <laughs> God of War. Perfect. Yeah, so there we go. That's us. We're all finished now. Thanks for joining us this episode. There was a lot to cram in, so we probably missed some stuff, but we'll no doubt once we get back next week and it's a bit more relaxed and there's a little less to talk about, we'll have a think and we can think about things we liked and talk about them in more detail along with our usual news and maybe we can return to our Amazon game because I like that I miss it (laughs) but yeah we'll be back next week anyway so thanks for joining us everyone remember to listen to us on Podbean and watch us on YouTube and also listen on iTunes as well and if you can leave a nice five star rating and help us fly up those charts along with a review that would be appreciated So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Thanks for now. Bye. 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 Bye.